Hello students, welcome to Grade 10 Science Lessons, and I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. In our previous lesson, you have learned about Continental Drift Theory. According to this theory, continents are slowly drifting around the Earth and was once a large landmass called Pangea. This supercontinent Pangea was divided into two supercontinents named Laurisha and Gondwanalan. Pieces of Laurasia drifted to the north, while pieces of Gondwanaland drifted to the south. And eventually drifted into today's seven continents. Alfred Wegener, the originator of the continental drift theory, identified several evidence to support his claim that continents are drifting. These evidence are shapes or matching edges of continents or rocks, fossil evidence, coal deposits in Antarctica, ancient climates, and glacier carvings. Despite of this evidence, the continental drift theory was still rejected during Wegener's time because he can't explain what causing the continents to drift. What other evidence can be used to support the idea that continents are drifting? Let's find out in today's lesson. Seafloor Spreading Many people in the past believe that the ocean floor is flat like the desert. But in 1930s, where sounding gear called sonar was developed, leads to the discovery of the standing feature of the ocean floor. One of the scientists to use sonar to study ocean floor during World War II was Harry Hammond Hess, a professor of geology at Princeton University. Harry Hess and his team carefully examined maps of the mid-ocean ridge system. Then Hess began to think about the ocean floor in relation to the problem of the continental drift theory. That leads him to the idea of seafloor spreading. According to the seafloor spreading theory, hot less dense material below the Earth's crust rises towards the mid-ocean ridge. This material flows sideways, carrying the seafloor away from the ridge, and creates a crack in the crust. The magma flows out of the crack, cools down, and becomes the new seafloor. Over time, the new oceanic crust pushed the old oceanic crust far from the ridge and subducted. The idea of seafloor spreading is supported by this evidence. Scientists find out that youngest rocks are found near the ridge while oldest rocks are found far from the ridge. This provides evidence that seafloor spreading and new crust is being created at the ridge. Since there is spreading happening at the ridge, the sediments near the ridge are thinner and progressively thickens as you move away. Always remember that the ages, density, and thickness of the oceanic crust increases with distance from the mid-ocean ridge. Another strong evidence that supports seafloor spreading is the geomagnetic reversal. Basalt, the once molten rock that makes up most new oceanic crust, is a fairly magnetic substance. Scientists began using magnetometers to measure the magnetism of the ocean floor in the 1950s. Scientists discovered that the magnetism of the ocean floor around mid-ocean ridges was divided into matching stripes on either side of the ridge. The specific magnetism of basalt rock is determined by the Earth's magnetic field when the magma is cooling. Scientists determine that the same process formed the perfectly symmetrical stripes on both sides of a mid-ocean ridge. The continual process of seafloor spreading separated the stripes in an orderly pattern. How is seafloor spreading disproves and supports continental drift theory? Supporters of continental drift originally theorized that the continents move through unmoving oceans. Seafloor spreading proves that the ocean itself is a site of tectonic activity. 
Did you know that seafloor spreading and subduction keeps the shape of the earth? Seafloor spreading creates new crust while subduction destroys old crust. The two forces roughly balance each other so the shape and diameter of the earth remain constant. To summarize what you have learned, seafloor spreading is a geologic process in which tectonic plates split apart from each other. Seafloor spreading occurs at divergent plate boundaries. The evidence of seafloor spreading are Youngest rocks are found near the ridge. Oldest rocks are found far from the ridge. Sediments are thinner near the ridge and progressively thickens as you move away. The density of materials increases as you go far from the ridge. Symmetrical stripes on both sides of a mid-ocean ridge. You also learn that seafloor spreading creates new crust while subduction destroys old crust. The two forces roughly balance each other so the shape and diameter of the earth remain constant. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mamarian Soriano. See you in our next lesson.